There hasn't been a lot of baseball news the last few days, so I figured let's change it up. Let's keep it baseball related, but let's have a little bit of fun. Everybody loves Major League Baseball jerseys. You've got some really creative ones, and then, well, you've got some really boring ones. So in this video, I'm going to give you my opinion on every single current Major League Baseball jersey. So by current, I mean jerseys that are actually in circulation. They're not retro. They're not throwbacks. None of that. They're jerseys that they wear throughout the year. If you guys do like these kind of videos and you want to see more like a video where I give you my opinion on every retro MLB jersey, get in that comment section down below. Tell me you want to see more as well as hit the like button. Those are the best ways to show your support. Also, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content, you want to see more of it because, you know, I bring the baseball content. So without further ado, let's get going into my opinion on every single Major League Baseball jersey. We're going to start off with the National League East. And yeah, you'll see how it goes from there. The Atlanta Braves away jersey is actually not that bad. I'm not a huge fan of the road jerseys. When you give me that gray, it has to be something nice. But the Braves do have a lot of color in their jerseys. They got the red. They got the navy blue outline. They've got a little bit of the yellow there on the tomahawk. Overall, as much as I hate the Braves because I am a Mets fan, I think that their road jersey is not too bad. The Atlanta Braves navy blue alternate is one of the nicest jerseys in baseball, in my opinion. Something's working there with the white outline around the dark navy blue letter. You've got the white name on the back. You got the dark navy blue Atlanta with the navy blue tomahawk. Everything is working for this jersey. If I wasn't a Mets fan, this is one I would buy immediately. It is so nice. This cream is another great jersey simple but it gets to the point it's got the braves across the chest it's really nice i like the navy i like the red i like the contrast just a great jersey there again the cream jerseys they just braves got good stuff similar to the cream jersey the braves home jersey is just a white version of that again the red and the navy blue pops off these jerseys braves just got great stuff man i hate to say because i don't like the braves but their jerseys are sick. Final Atlanta Braves jersey here is the red alternate jersey. And again, what a surprise. The Braves jerseys kill it. The red comes off so nice with the navy blue number, the white lettering. They got the star spangled banner all over the Braves. It's just, they did it again. The Braves jersey designing team is fantastic. This one and the navy blue are so good. Moving on here to my New York Mets. I like the pinstripe home whites. I think they're very classic. I wish that they did have the number on the front, but I do like the Mets jerseys right here. Simple to the point, blue and orange, good colors. Probably a little biased too here. The gray Mets row jersey is actually the only Mets jersey I do not own, and you can see why. It is just lackluster. The New Yorker cross is nice. If that was on a white jersey, it might look a little bit different, but on gray, it's just very boring. Again, it's gonna take a lot for me to like the road jerseys for many teams. The Mets blue home jersey, one of my favorites, of course. You gotta love the blue with the orange, the combination, the white outline around the orange letters and numbers. It's a great looking jersey. I love when the Mets wear the blue. The Mets blue away jerseys, again, they're putting in this gray. I don't understand the fascination with the color gray. It's a better jersey than the typical road jersey because it has less gray, but I'm not crazy about the gray numbers, the gray lettering. I, it would have been nice to just see it, you know, white, orange, blue, keep the Mets colors how they are. Or if you're the Mets and you're seeing this, bring me back the black jerseys, please. I want the Mets black jerseys back. They were so nice. Those were the good old days. Bring me back the black jerseys, please. Washington Nationals home jerseys. Very simple. White, no pinstripes. They got the W in the top left-hand corner right on your heart. Red lettering, red number on the back. Simple jersey. Not great. Not bad, though. Right around the average. Road jersey again. You guys know what I'm going to say. I'm going to complain about the gray color. I know that's how baseball rocks. Nationals, though, probably one of the better road jerseys. The red really does pop off there. You've got the white outline around the names and the numbers. Adds a little more pop to the jersey for a road jersey it's probably right around the middle of the road my gosh how many times i'm gonna say that you may not notice a big difference in this jersey but unlike their regular home jersey the w does have the american flag on it a nice little touch here and there i don't think that it would be good to see all the time but the nationals wear it sporadically and it's a nice little change of pace i actually used to own this jersey when the nationals were bad and bryce harper was a rookie i got this jersey for bryce harper i'm a big fan of this one i love the american flag on the w i love the white letters and numbers I think it pops. It's so nice. In a night game, it looks great. Big fan of this jersey. I actually own it, but you know, I just can't wear it anymore because Harper, Nationals, Mets, you, you guys get the drift. This is also another iteration of the dark navy blue jerseys the Nationals have. Not as big of a fan as this one. I think the Nationals across the chest looks a little bit awkward as well with the red number. Something's just not clicking for me here. Definitely their worst jersey besides the road jersey, of course. Final Nationals jersey here, the red one that they do wear at home quite often. I like this one, but again, it's similar to the home one, kind of just middle of the road, not particularly great. Great. Don't hate it. Uh, they had to get red in there somewhere, but 
Again, just, I don't know, something something's not crazy about this jersey. I prefer the blue ones more. Not sure if you guys have seen my video about the Marlins jerseys, but I hate them. And we'll start off with the home jersey, which is probably one of the least of the terrible. It's okay, you know, it's got the black lettering with the neon outline. It's decent and towards the, you know, lower half of being decent. The row jerseys are actually okay as well. Again, just average. I like seeing a little bit of color on the row jerseys, but they're just so plain. Besides the Miami, there's nothing going on there. It's just... So boring. You heard me talk about how much I wanted the black jerseys back for the Mets. The Marlins screwed these up so badly. Why are you putting black on black with a very faint neon outline? I mean, these are just so bad. Who designed these? These are one of the worst jerseys in all of baseball. Oh, hold on one sec. Someone else is coming. What the hell are these jerseys? This looks like a batting practice jersey. You're trying to be a professional baseball team and you're going to go out wearing these? What the hell are these? These are horrible. Last team here, the National League East, we got the Philadelphia Phillies. Pinstripes, red on white. It looks pretty decent. It's a classic looking jersey. Average for me, because they've got some better ones. I will admit that. I'll give the Phillies some credit. Their road jersey pops more than others. Something about the red on gray seems to really work. And the Phillies put a lot of red on this. The Phillies across the chest is huge. It's also got the blue stars, white outline. This is one of the better road jerseys in all of baseball. Phillies don't wear this red jersey a whole lot. And ah, I don't know how I feel about it. In game, it looks a little bit better than by itself but I'm not crazy about the Phillies with the red across the chest on a red jersey. You can see kind of the style that I do like. This was close, but it just missed a little bit. I'm a big fan of the Phillies cream jersey. These are fantastic. They used to wear them a lot during the Ryan Howard days. And uh, yeah, these are these are really good cream jerseys. National League Central now. Getting it started with the Chicago Cubs. Their home jersey is a classic look. Pinstripes, you got the Cub logo over the heart. You've got the blue lettering and numbering with the red outline. Classic look. You gotta love the Cubs jersey. Cubs road jersey, not a fan. Definitely one of the more boring ones. Just plain old block letter Chicago on the front. Blue and red numbering. It's just... Not great. I'm not a huge fan of their road jerseys. Probably one of my least favorite. The blue Chicago Cubs alternate, though, very nice. They kind of have a little bit of a spring training look, but when you go a little bit deeper and you see it as a full jersey, it does look great. I'm a big fan of this blue Cubs jersey. Wouldn't be the one that I purchase. I would go after the home first, but this is a nice little change of pace. So I'm going to come out and say it right here with the St. Louis Cardinals home jerseys. The most classic, the best jerseys in all of baseball. The Cardinals absolutely kill their jerseys. I love them. I think they're so good. And the white home incredible. Even the Cardinals road jerseys, in my opinion, look fantastic. Something about that Cardinal logo, man, it just, it's, it's great. I love it. It's so good. The Cardinal creams, they're up there with the Phillies. These are fantastic and a little bit different because it says St. Louis on the chest. They just, ah, the Cardinals know what they're doing. They're so good. If Harper goes to the Cardinals, I know I'll be buying a Harper Cardinals jersey. That's for sure. Now the Cardinals didn't wear these in 2018, but in 2019, they're making them a legitimate jersey in their rotation. The light blue Cardinals jerseys are amazing. So good. These are sick. I love the light blues. Fantastic, fantastic jerseys. One of the best alternates in all the game. Pittsburgh Pirates, black and yellow. So good. The Pirates have some of the best jerseys in baseball too. It's honestly probably between them and the Cardinals, although I'm sure there'll be more down the line that I see, but the Pirates home, classic, white, yellow, black, so good. Pirates road jersey on the other hand though, pretty lackluster. I'm not a huge fan of the yellow outline around the black number and lettering on the gray jersey. Doesn't look good. Looks like he got stains all over it. Pirates black alternate jersey, oof. Ooh, this is, this is fantastic. The yellow pops off that black jersey. The contrast is amazing. You got the white outline. You got the white outline around the numbers and the logo. You got the plain yellow on the back. It's just, it's a great jersey. Cincinnati Reds home jerseys. I do prefer these over their old pinstripe ones. They are better, but at the end of the day, not crazy about the Cincinnati Reds home. Cincinnati, ho Cincinnati road jerseys, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Not a fan of these one bit. Now the Los Rojos jerseys, fantastic. The white pops off the red. The red looks fantastic. And they've got little Mr. Red on their shoulder sleeve. So gotta like that. And then you've got the classic Reds alternate jersey with the red, similar to the home, same layout. I like this a lot better than the white jersey, but also at the same time, it's not particularly my favorite. Milwaukee Brewers home jerseys are horrible. The Brewers need a total revamp. I do not like the script lettering. I do not like the colors. I do not like the gold. It's a bad looking jersey. One of the worst. Weak numbers, weak lettering on the back. Brewers Road jersey could possibly be the worst jersey in all of baseball. The gold and the navy blue on a gray jersey with that horrible lettering 
looks atrocious. It makes me want to throw up. I like these a little bit more. Pinstripes, I seem to like a bit. It depends here and there. You got to place them correctly. Better lettering. I like the old school Brewer logo as well. So this alternate is, you know, better at least. You've got the Brewers alternate with Brewers and script across the front with the navy blue. The navy blue is a little bit better. The white lettering is a little bit better, but still, I'm just not a fan of the whole Brewers branding currently. The blue Milwaukee jerseys those are my favorite. It incorporates a little bit of the old school logo. It gets more yellow in there as opposed to gold. Get Milwaukee across the front with white lettering, white numbering. Looks a lot better than all their other jerseys. Definitely the best of the bunch. Moving on to the National League West here, we get it started off with the Arizona Diamondbacks and their new jerseys from a few years ago. Home jersey, big fan of it. I know a lot of people don't like the shoulders, but it's like the rattlesnake skin. It's, it's I think it's pretty cool and I think it pops. I own one myself, AJ Pollock, although he's not going to be on the Diamondbacks anymore, but I like these jerseys. Diamondback road jerseys, on the other hand, ugh, they could be a lot better. Again, just kind of mediocre. Not bad, but not good. Diamondback home alternates are interesting. They get a little bit of turquoise in there. I know that has to do something with Arizona. Not crazy about these. I definitely prefer the regular homes. I want to like their alternate road jerseys more because the turquoise really does help the jersey, but something about the black lettering and numbers on the front and back just doesn't do it for me. But I do like the turquoise a little bit better on the road jersey than I did on the home jersey. The Arizona black jerseys just kind of don't really get it going for me. A little bit boring in my opinion. I think they could have done more. Just the logo on the left doesn't get it done. Now the red Diamondbacks jerseys, I'm a much bigger fan of. I think it's a very nice color. I could have changed up the lettering maybe to white to make it pop a little bit more, but I get they're trying to stick with a certain scheme and a certain theme for the colors. Overall, I think this is probably the second best Diamondbacks jersey behind their regular home jerseys. Giants home jersey, very classic. They go with a cream color pretty much for their regular home jerseys. Giants across the front and block letters. Black lettering and numbering. Orange outline. Classic look. Pretty good jersey. Giants regular road jersey. Not a huge fan of San Francisco's. Kind of crammed on there. It looks a little bit all over the place, but I will say that the back of their jerseys number and lettering do look good. Something's working there. Now, this is the road jersey I like. I actually have a Barry Bonds jersey of this. This is definitely my favorite. This is is actually I think the only road jersey I own so you can probably guess I like this one quite a bit I don't know what to say about these orange giant jerseys I like the idea that they were going with but the Giants across the front looks a little bit awkward and it also could look like q -ins. I don't know why that just looks like a Q to me also when you think about the Giants yes they have orange in their logo and other things but they're not an orange jersey team and same thing with the black jerseys just I, I, a little lackluster to me I don't know something about these just doesn't sit right with me it looks like almost a knockoff of the Oriole black jerseys doesn't work. Just say to your normal jerseys. Well, I said that the Brewers had probably the worst jerseys in baseball. I lied. The Colorado Rockies home jerseys are atrocious. Pinstripes over silver, black and white with black and white on the back. This is horrible. The Rockies, you have such a cool name. You have such cool colors. You have purple in there. Throw some purple in the jersey. This is horrible. And Rockies coming with the most boring away jersey, black and white on a gray jersey sick. You can imagine that I do not like this road jersey either very much. I mean, this was made by who? A six-year-old? Finally, some color here. Purple jerseys, a little bit better, but I still hate the Colorado on the front. The back looks good, but the front is horrible. What, what font is that? That's a terribly weak font. Vests. Vest jerseys. I'm not going to say anything else. They're vest jerseys. Terrible. Padres home jerseys? Meh. Padres away jersey is a little bit better. I like the San Diego across the chest. It's definitely a little bit different, catches the eye. I also love the navy blue with the white outline. It pops. The navy blue alternate is definitely a step up. Now you guys know normally I don't like just plain colors being the only thing on a jersey, but the white works here on the navy blue background. Big fan of these. Some people love or hate the camo jerseys. I absolutely love them. The digital camo though is definitely my favorite of the two. This jersey looks so good. And seeing it in person, oh my god, it's even better. It's so sick. This is the original Padres camo that they still do wear. Big fan of this as well. I loved when they wore this back starting in the 2000s. This is an awesome jersey. One of the ones that I need to add into my collection. People particularly hate the brown San Diego Padres jerseys, but I am a huge fan of them. I don't know why. I love the brown Padres jerseys. The yellow or the gold or whatever color you want to call that on there looks fantastic. I just... I can't explain this one. I'm just a huge fan of this. I guess because it's so different maybe, but it works. It works. One of the more classic jerseys in all baseball, Los Angeles Dodgers. You gotta love the blue. You gotta love the red for the number on the front. Just a little bit of a change of the typical look of jerseys. But overall, it's not the best, 
but it's above average. I don't hate the Dodgers road jerseys, it's just I don't particularly like them. The red number on the road jersey just looks out of place. Dodgers also have a weird little alternate here where they throw Dodgers on the front instead of Los Angeles. Doesn't change much for me, still not a great jersey. We are finally moving on to the American League, starting off with the AL East, going with the Baltimore Orioles home jerseys, and these are fantastic. I love the Orioles jerseys. They've got a great color scheme, black, orange, white, and this white home jersey is fantastic. Orioles road jersey, on the other hand, it just doesn't work for me. I'm not a huge fan of this one, it's just, I don't know, I don't like it. Now the Orioles black jersey, that's what I'm talking about, that's a nice jersey. I know I criticized the Giants for copying the Orioles look, and it's really not too similar, but it reminded me of it, and I think of it for the Orioles before the Giants, so I like the Orioles black one. And who doesn't love this Orioles orange jersey? This is fantastic. This is what the Giants were trying to do, and they swung and missed. This is so good, the black with the white outline, the orange jersey, this is one of the best jerseys in all of baseball. Put it in your books. The Evil Empire. Classic look. It hasn't changed in who knows how long. Uh, as much as I hate the Yankees, it really is a classic look. I'm not going to say it's a great jersey, but I think it would be pretty crazy to say it's not a good looking one. Now, their road jersey, on the other hand, they absolutely suck. I'm going to say that. They are horrible, terrible road jerseys, but it's the Yankees. They're not going to change. It's all about tradition there. Just would be nice to maybe see them have one different jersey because this is bad. Boston Red Sox home jerseys. Fantastic look here. The Red Sox across the front. No pinstripes, which works. I'm a big fan of the Red Sox home. Red Sox road jersey. Middle of the road for me. Kind of just around the average mark. It's kind of boring, kind of plain. There's not really even anything on the sleeve, so eh. They don't wear the red jerseys too often, but I do like them. They did it right. They got the blue lettering with the white outline, which is big to me. If they switched it up the other way, I think it would have looked really bad, but the way they did it, Something's working here. This is a good jersey. And the Boston Navy Blues are really good too with the red lettering white outline that's popping off the jersey. Big fan of the Navy Blues. Another great jersey. Ooh, ever since the Toronto Blue Jays went back to their colors actually being blue and white instead of black, silver, blue, red. The blue and white homes, fantastic, fantastic. And that's such a unique font and number. It's so good. Their roads are very good as well. I like the change up of Toronto on the front. You still got the Blue Jay on there. You got the unique font. You got that blue color. I think this is a good road jersey. This blue jersey though is with Without a doubt, the Blue Jays' best. I mean, the white lettering on this comes off so good. This Blue Jays jersey is fantastic. I still wish they had someone I could get a jersey of on that team, but that's a sick jersey. And I think they wear these reds on like Canada Day and a couple other occasions. They're okay. They're a little bit different. I prefer the blue, but it's not the worst jersey. I just don't think it's particularly great. You know, when you think of the Blue Jays, you don't go red. Ray's home jersey, flat out sucks. Ray's away jersey? Kind of sucks too. The Rays light blue though, on the other hand, I'm a big fan of. Now this is a jersey that I would buy and wear. This color pops. I'm typically not a fan of the same color on top of each other, but the Rays navy blues, now these work too. Something's working there. They got like the light blue and white outline. I'm a big fan of the Rays actual jerseys that have some color in it. The white and gray is not a huge fan. I'm not necessarily sure what the Rays call these jerseys, but they're horrible. These are some of the worst looking jerseys in all baseball. American League Central starting off with the Twins home jersey. Big fan of this, the blue, the red. It's a little like a little off white, just a tad bit, but I really like their home jersey. Minnesota's road jersey, not that bad. I like the change up of the name on the front of the jersey. Minnesota, you got a little bit of red, you got a little bit of blue. Something's working here. This is a pretty good road. Minnesota Twins red jersey, awesome. Awesome. This is a great jersey. I wish they wore it more. The blue lettering, the white outline. This is a fantastic jersey. Big fan of this one. Minnesota Twins navy blue. This is classic. This is like Torrey Hunter in his prime. Great jersey. A lot of good memories with this one. Maybe that's why I like it so much, but I'm a big fan of this one too. And then the Twins also have a cream jersey. Not a fan of it. The pinstripes just feel out of place. It's got an old school look, but I just don't think the Twins is an old school team like that. So not a huge fan. Chicago White Sox home jersey, pinstripes, black and white, a little bit of silver in there, very plain, but I think gets the job done. I, I kind of like them, actually, the more I look at them. You're probably going to laugh at me because I criticized the Rockies for having a very boring color scheme on their road jerseys, but it works with the White Sox. I don't know why, but the Chicago script looks really good. It just works with Chicago White Sox. Good jersey. The black Chicago White Sox jersey is by far the best White Sox jersey there is. This is something I need. If Machado or Harper goes to the White Sox, your boy's buying this one. Kansas City Royals white home jerseys, kind of boring. I don't hate them, but I definitely don't like them. Kansas City Royal jerseys away, not good, not good. This is a bad looking jersey. The light blue Royals jersey though are so nice. I got a Moustakis one of this. I know he's not on the team anymore, but this jersey is quite possibly the best jersey in all of baseball. Oh my God, it's so good. The Royal blue on the other hand, uh, 
mean, it looks nice on the field, but if you're just someone going to purchase a jersey, this definitely isn't my first option for the Royals. You go in light blue. And then the Los Reales jersey is incredibly boring. Cleveland Indians home jersey, not a huge fan, but it falls in that above average category for me. I personally don't think that that would be the jersey that I would buy if I got one, but it's not bad. Cleveland away jerseys, boring again, just not a huge fan of the super block letters on the front. It's just not a good jersey. If I'm buying an Indians jersey, here's the one I'm getting. I love the dark, dark blue on there. The red pops off with the white outline. This is a good jersey. This is the one the Indians should wear more often. Detroit Tigers home jersey, they go for that classy look. I understand they got that script D, which is iconic, but personally, I mean, I guess out of all their jerseys, I like this one, but it's a little boring. The Tigers road jersey is very, very close to being a great road jersey. I like the blue and the orange or the navy and the orange. I like the white outline. It's super close. I can't, I can't put exactly what's missing, but there's something, but it's close and it's an above average road for sure. We are finally moving on to the last division, the American League West, starting off with the Seattle Mariners home jersey. I like it. The white, the blue, the teal, it works. This is a good jersey. Seattle road jersey, eh, I don't know. It feels like a lot of mushed colors together that are very similar. I know they're not similar, but when looking at it, I'm just like, from far away, it's kind of all the same. Now, the Mariners cream jerseys are fantastic. These are some fire jerseys. That blue, that yellow gold, that cream color. This is a nice jersey. I want to like the teal jerseys more, but... I don't know. They're just kind of off. Wear them every once in a while. That's fine. But this is definitely not the Mariners jersey. I'm going out and buying if I'm getting one. The navy blue Marin, the blue Mariners jersey on the other hand, I'm a big fan of. The silver lettering looks really good on this with the teal outline. I like this jersey a lot. Houston Astros home jerseys, pretty boring. They're not bad, but they're also not good. I think they're below average. They could be a lot better, but they get the job done. Astros road jerseys, kind of like the Tigers, close, but I think they're worse. I don't know. Just the gray jerseys, man, it's tough to get me to like those. Now the Astros orange jerseys working. It's very simple. It's very plain, but that orange with the lettering works extremely well. And as you guys know, who have been here for a while, I got me a Carlos Correa one in this color. It's a great jersey. These navy blues got me thinking some different things. Like I like them. I love the little sunrise on the side, but they also look like batting practice or spring training jerseys. So not going to go high up on my list. They could be better, but they also aren't very great. Los Angeles Angels home jersey. It's okay. It's definitely unique. It's got its own little font. It does like the little nicks off the corner, but it's okay. The road jersey is literally just the home jersey, except gray, so you guys know my feeling on this. It's okay. And the red jersey, well, it's just okay. I feel like the Angels could have such nice jerseys. I mean, look at some of their throwbacks. I love them. These, on the other hand, I don't know. They lack just any sort of excitement for me. Oakland A's, classy, classy jerseys, white, green, yellow. Who would have thought that these colors would have worked so well, but their home jersey is great. Road jersey, not terrible, but it's also not great. It's right bang on average. I'm a big fan of all the Oakland A's jerseys, so maybe a little bias is sneaking in here that I don't want to trash this one, but it's average. Ooh, that, that forest green A's jersey is so good. I mean, you start getting into the color jerseys for the A's, that's really where they start to click. These are fantastic. Normally wouldn't be a big fan of these yellow jerseys. They're pretty ugly on most people, but these A's yellow jerseys work so good. The A's know what they're doing with the jerseys. And then finally, you got this brighter green and it is amazing as well. I mean, this is a little bit of a throwback, but they do wear them quite often during the regular season. So I'll include them in the current. These are awesome. These are the best A's jerseys out there. Last but not least, we have the Texas Rangers. Their home jersey, it's okay. It's not great. I'm not crazy about the Knicks again off the side. I know it gives a little bit of unique font and texture and all that kind of stuff, but it's not great to me. The blue, the red, the white, it's very just kind of all over the place. Like, I feel like it's really hard to see the name on the back of the jersey, and that's kind of important. Texas Road jersey, same stuff. Uh, not crazy about it. You guys know how I feel. It's like the 30th team. These aren't great. Now, the blue Texas Ranger jerseys really work. The white lettering pops off of there. This is a great jersey. Definitely would buy one if they had someone worth buying. Maybe a Joey Gallo jersey. And the final jersey of this video, the red Texas Rangers one. Another great jersey. I love it. Their color jerseys are much better than their white and their grays. So stick to the blue 
blue and red and you got a winning scenario there so that's gonna be it for this video it took me a lot of time to make this a lot of editing a lot of cut and pasting all that good stuff so if you guys could leave a like on it that'd be appreciated also it's a great way to show me that you want me to do more of these so if you want to see retro or throwback rankings or opinions get in the comment section leave a like tell me what you want to see subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content follow me on twitter and instagram at giraffeneckmark and that's gonna be the end of this video youtube recommends you watch this one this is my most recent upload click them support the channel i'm out have a merry christmas i'll see you tomorrow maybe i don't know i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a video on christmas but if i do i'll see you tomorrow merry christmas goodbye